Yo, what's good? It's your boy Chaos bringing you guys another video. Today I'm bringing you guys in the start of a new mini scheme. So I figured I'd bring you guys a little something that's like a little bit off the radar. Um, people don't really use it very much. We're in the pistol playbook today. Um, Pony was really, really good in this playbook last year. He had a lot of good plays from it. Um, I never see him. I've never seen him run this formation, but it's actually really, really good. Um, it's pistol U deep slot. Um, so it's got a lot of good plays in there. We're gonna be doing some uh, a lot of different plays from it the first one we're doing today is double post but you guys see pa boots very good it has a stretch it has a dive it's got a um a counter a read option slam strong power so it's got a lot of good runs but then it's got this pa boot over which is really good double post which is the play we're giving you today tight end cross isn't bad um pa boot it's got several good plays um so we're just gonna drop it today and I'm going to show you guys how really, really good this is. So, I just dropped a play out of like a, I guess I call it a free ebook. I guess it was another mini scheme out of the Trips by Flex. It was essentially the Pat Sale post. We have another play with that post. Um, Watkins is on it. Easily the best post in the game. It gets underneath every zone, uh, every deep zone, and it gets over top of every yellow or cloud. So, it's very, very good. Um, it's a very unique play because you can do a lot of different things with it um, as people do in Pat Sale. So... Um, I'm going to bring that to you guys today. So first, I'm going to give you guys, so this is, if they're running coverage, this is the setup you're going to do. If they're running coverage, so like if they're doing like, so on defense right here, they're just in a base cover too, right? So we're going to run this. So you're going to zig Y, fade Kelsey, slant Hill, and then you leave Watkins on his post. And you guys are going to see Watkins gets over everything. Um, had to maneuver a little bit there in the pocket. Um, and then you have, <clears throat> sorry, still getting over that sickness a little bit. I'm definitely a lot better than I was, though. Um, so here, now, once they, um, without, I showed you guys the post gets over. So the post is going to get open. You throw the zig against the cloud, turn up field, and uh, it's like a 7 to 8, especially with the fall forward animation that you just seen right there. That's in the game. And it's super <clears throat> um, common. Like, you're going to fall forward a lot of the time now. Something's going on in the game. So, And then if they play hard flats, obviously you have the slant getting over the zig. So, or over the hard flat. Just throw that up. And you got it moving. So it's very similar to the setup from the Trips Y Flex that I gave you guys the other day. So, that's, you, so you have that, right? So that's going to crush cover two. I'm going to go to cover three real quick, and then we'll jump into the blitz stuff in a second. I'll always show you guys how to be blitz and coverage from all my plays. So I'm going to deep quarter this outside, guys, just to show you guys that it's going to get over. Um, so same exact setup. B on a slant, Y on a zig, A on a fade. You can let this guy set, or you can hike it before he sets. Whatever you guys want to do. It's up to you guys. Now, you do have a touchdown to Kelsey. I'm not going to know that. I wanted to show you guys that it gets underneath the deep quarter. Now, I'm going to go into the replay very, very quickly, and I'll show you guys that you do have a touchdown here if you want to throw it. So, especially in mud, if you have a fast um, tight end right here, he beats him over the top. You can see it. He's open. I'll try to throw it here, but if you have a fast tight end like Kittle or something or Vernon Davis or anything like that, it's going to be an easy touchdown. Um, quickly audible here to... Cover three, and I'm deep quartering the outside guy. Obviously, if they don't deep quarter the outside guy, the post is still going to be naked. So, like, that's why I'm not even running it without the deep quarter. Um, right here. Jeez, I got bull rush crazy. Try it one more time here. I'd like to make it work for you guys, just so you guys can see the bomb. But if not, I mean, dude, just trust me on it. If you have Kittle, if you have, um, oops, so I just I'll create my own cover too. Or cover three, excuse me. There we go. Okay, well, if you guys have your own cover two, I mean, if you guys have you, if you're in mud with like your fast tight end, just trust that it's gonna be a touchdown. Um, but we'll try with Kelsey here. Oh my goodness gracious, this game is scary. Last time I'm trying, you guys get the picture. It's not a big deal. Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But you just got to trust that it works if you have a fast tight end. Last try. And you guys can also see on the backside against cover three, you have the slant and the and the drag. 
Oh my, I give up. I'm done doing it. I'm done doing it. I'm done doing it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Just want to show you guys on the backside. If they leave their deep third, so I left the deep third here. He's going to man up to the post. He's going to get burnt by it, as you can see. And then the slant is pretty much a cover three meter. Like you have unbelievable space. Now, most people will deep quarter, and it won't even matter. And then you just throw it right in this little pocket above the hard flat. But you guys can see, like, he's got a step. So, and that's like 84 speed Kelsey. Like, he's not fast. So, if you have Kittle or somebody with 99 speed or Vernon Davis, they, they both get 99 speed now, but, like, you'll be fine. So, that's against coverage. Now, if people are blitzing you. So, I'm going to cover two. Um, say they're, they're Nickel Noble, so they're blitzing this guy. Blitzing this guy. So, they just have a cover two shell, right? This is what you can do. You have two different. So, the first one. Max Pro, and then motion him over on a drag. And then you're really just reading the the user. So the user this time, if he's dropping back, so hit Hill. I'll man up the user from now on to see if they're taking one away. So blitzing, blitzing. Now I'm gonna man him to the, to the drag, okay? So he's taking, excuse me, he's taking away the drag. Right, so you, uh, Max Pro, motion over on a drag, just like Pat Sale. And you're going to throw this post. Yeah, man. He got, I got hollered at. <laughs> you won't usually get hollered at out of this Max Pro. I don't know what just happened right there. Let me set up the blitz again. Man up B. That's rare. Don't judge me. I see you. Don't be that guy. I, don't, I better not see that comment. Heck out of here. We're a max pro. You'll pick up. You'll pick up the blitz from this. Hit the post over the middle. Real easy. Real light. And you have time to throw these things because it's obviously because you're max proing. And then you have the hitch, so you have this setup as well. So if they blitz six here and say they man up. I'm not going to man up the hitch because I already showed you guys if you throw the post. Now I'm going to man up the post here and just so you guys can quickly throw the hitch. Um, bam, quick throw. Real easy. Um, something else you could do is if you wanted to do this with the hitch, you'd have to do the hitch before you motion it so that it doesn't do a smoke screen. But you could do this. So I'll man up the post again. And uh, man, emotion over hill on a hitch, and now you have the hitch on this side. Um, and you just quickly throw it in that pocket. Um, that's something else you could do. Um, what else can you do from this? Oh yeah, you can playmaker. So really, so I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm actually not going to. I'm not going to. Um, What am I trying to say? I'm not going to make a quick read here. I'm going to show you guys that you can playmaker this hitch. So I'm going to do this. And then just show you guys where the user will be making a read. Now, I did get sacked because I was trying not to throw anything. Now, this is what I'm trying to show you guys here. So just imagine the user here, right? <clears throat> you have your hitch here. Then you quickly playmaker it left. And just imagine this user comes down and he stays with this hitch, right? He's sitting on it. Then the post breaks. He knows he has to break back to it. You playmaker this at the same exact time that he has to break back. And now he's stuck moving back here as you're throwing this hitch. It's hard for me to recreate it. I really, I really can't. So you just got to picture it. So I'm trying to think. What I guess I'll leave. I'll leave the vert hook. That's what I'll, I guess that's the best way to kind of... Uh, impersonated here um, so I'll motion over this hitch now I'm not gonna throw the post early because I want to show you guys this playmaker it over and you make them read it so let me let me try to picture for you guys again I know it's hard it's weird I don't know how to do it without a user but here you go so you have the hitch out there right this is the user you playmaker it left right at the same time where you know he has to break back this. Now, I could throw this right here. Perfect spot. Easily could throw it, right? But imagine I don't. As soon as I playmaker this, 
it's right in the spot where his user needs to be moving right back here. If he doesn't move back, I can throw this easily. So he has to move back. Right as he's moving back, you throw this. It's just like Pat Sale. People do it all the time. Really quick, easy read. Very, very good. Now, obviously, it's going to be the same exact thing. If they're blitzing from cover three, you can do two different things. Um, if they're blitzing this guy like this, you can do two different things. You can either fade this guy, put him on a drag and motion him over, put him on a hitch and leave him right here, or motion him over on the hitch. So you, you have that, you have this, and you have this. So if they're if they're in coverage, you're doing this. I'm just gonna go back over this. This is that's all you need to know for the play. The play is very very good. If they're in coverage, here's what you're doing. Here's your setup, real easy. If they're not in coverage, you're doing this with a drag or he's on a hitch or he's on a hitch over here. That's your three setups. Really, really easy. And I think you guys, if you guys are you guys are bored of the game and trying to find something new, check out this pistol, man. I'm telling you, it's good. Um, it's got a lot of good plays in it. I'm going to be going over them the next few days, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys don't already, make sure you guys check out my description for my new ebooks. It is Trips Tied In, 335 Odd, and it is... Um, big nickel over G. Those are the three things. So the defense is big nickel over G with 335 odd. Very, very good. Offense is very in depth. Trips tight end. Take it easy. Peace.